Now, here's the live Doppler Storm Team, Chief Meteorologist Keith Morton. And yeah, some light to moderate rain falling over some areas of Acadiana, mostly the western parts of the area, and we see that extending back into Texas as we see that moisture from Nicholas making its way off to the north and the east. So here's what it looks like. We'll zoom in down there. Lopsided system, but it is a hurricane. Uh, with the winds at 75, National Hurricane Center updated it, their 10 o'clock update. So after I did first weather, I got back to the desk and uh, saw that they had uh, upgraded it. But you can see right here, and all of this is going to move off to the northeast as we get through tonight and tomorrow. Most of this here won't be in Acadiana until tomorrow and tomorrow night. So not expecting a whole lot overnight tonight, some light to moderate rain, but uh, nothing too substantial. Winds right now, like I said, at 75. Now here's the problem. The National Hurricane Center has really slowed this down. And I had to really adjust this because these are so compact. You look at the days here. There's 7 a.m. Wednesday, 7 a.m. Thursday. It really doesn't move that much. Now, I will say that they're going slower than what the guidance is showing. The models are showing this getting out of here quicker. And a lot of the really heavy rain may be well to the east of this in the Mississippi and the eastern parts of the state. But regardless, uh, this could be a little farther north, a little farther south. And there's going to be a swath of very heavy rain. Some of the models are indicating over 10 inches across some areas of Acadiana. Where that plays out is the tough part right now, but I'm thinking four to eight inches on average, 10 plus across some areas. I think it's going to be a smaller area, not out of question, 15 to 20 in some isolated spots. Uh, so that's going to be the main threat, flash flooding, mostly late tomorrow, tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. We should start drying out some Wednesday afternoon, some showers, but the heaviest stuff should be uh, moving on out. Uh, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds and a low tornado threat, although we're going to be on the east side, so we do have that tornado risk. Coastal storm surge, not a huge risk here, one to three feet as it's making landfall much farther west and it is a, a weak hurricane. So uh, that's not a big issue. The main issue, like I've said, that's the flash flooding. Here's what it looks like with the GFS. This has had a pretty good handle on this system uh, with the location and everything. And I think it has a pretty decent handle on the rainfall totals. Now keep in mind, uh, computer models, especially the global models, will underestimate rainfall totals. So uh, this could easily be six to eight inches across many areas of Acadiana. On average, though, four to eight with some isolated areas more than that. But I think that's a pretty good consensus uh, that we're looking at uh, as we go through the next a couple of days. Unfortunately, a lot of the deep tropical moisture will hang around, so we're looking at more rain as we go through uh, the rest of the week. There's through Saturday at 10 o'clock. You can see some of the totals come up a little bit more. 6.11 Intracoastal City, uh, 5.81 in Lafayette. So it really depends on the track. If it moves farther north, a lot of that heavier rain swath may be just north and east of us. But if it moves along the coastal parishes, we're going to see a lot of heavy rain along the I-10 corridor. And the problem is this one's just not going to be moving that much, so that's why we have to deal with the th threat of flash flooding. 71 tonight, rain chances at about 50%. For your Tuesday, rain likely uh, about an 80 to 90% chance of rain. Uh, may have to bump that up to 100. Chris Cozart may do that in the morning after looking at the latest computer data. It looks like we're going to see rain all across the area. Southeasterly winds at 20 to 25, so it will definitely be breezy. And here's what it looks like over the next seven days. Hope you enjoyed that sunshine over the weekend and the lower humidity because this week is uh, not looking good. Uh, that flash flooding threat tomorrow into tomorrow night to Wednesday morning. And then we're looking at the rain chances that will come down some, but with the deep tropical moisture lingering, uh, we do have to deal with uh, showers and thunderstorms. And some of those can produce some very heavy rain. So we get rid of uh, Nicholas hopefully soon, and then we have to deal with more afternoon storms later this week.